Hello, my name is Mindy and I'm from My Creative Scoop and I'm super excited to be guest designing for My Favorite Things this month. I'm going to be sharing with you how I color with Copic markers and we're going to create this ocean scene using the brand new stamp set called Gill Friends. I've stamped a couple of the little plants down here along the bottom as well as a couple of the little fish and some bubbles and I'm going to show you how to color all of them. We're going to be using Memento Desert Sand ink so we can get that no line technique. And I've also stamped onto some Copic Express It blending card, which is my personal favorite that I like to use when coloring with Copic markers. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna make a couple of different little hills so that way there's some distance going on in, the, in our scene that we're creating. So I'm gonna start with my E4 zeros. And I'm just gonna kind of trace along the bottom part of this plant and these two little plants right here so that way that looks like one layer. And then I'm going to come back up here and we're going to make another layer and then I'm going to make another layer back off in the distance. So we have three different um, three different layers of sand that we're going to be building upon. So now I'm gonna take my E31 and we're just gonna add some shadows in between each of these hills so they look like there's three different hills. So the first thing we're gonna do is shadow in the front. So I'm just gonna go along the edge of the paper and then we're gonna trace this line back here And the same thing for this one back here. All right, so now we're gonna blend those out. So we're gonna get out our E30. And you just kind of wanna go over it and blend that E31 Kind of doing that flicking motion. We're going to be adding a lot of texture and little dots to make it look like sand. So if it's not blended perfect, that's the reason why I don't get it too perfect. Because it's going to be covered up by all that texture that we're going to be adding. And the same thing down here, just a couple of little flicks to blend out that darker E31. And now I'm going to take my E40 again, so E0000, and I'm just going to fill in those little hills. And the same thing up here. I'm just going right over those little green, um, the seaweed. So there's not a whole lot of room on those little leaves for definition, so we'll just be tracing those with our green. And this color is so light that it's gonna show up. So now we're gonna take our E33 and I'm just going to deepen the shadows a little bit more. So just along the bottom, and then again tracing behind that first hill, and the second one. And then we're gonna go with our E31. just to blend it out a little bit better. And in the front. Okay, so 
now we're going to take our E30 and we're going to do like a heavy flick. So I'm really pushing that dark into the light so that way it has more of that dark to light gradient and it gets rid of that harsh line. But it's still very light along the top part of the hill. So let's go ahead and do this second hill. And the third one. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back with my E4 zeros one more time just to give it that last little bit of blend. And then we wanna outline the top part of the hill just to make it a little bit more defined. So we're going to do the same thing down here, kind of just one stroke over, and the same thing for this front one. All right, now before we add any texture, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to color in those um, little plants down there at the bottom. So you're going to get out your YG67, YG17, and YG13. And we're gonna start with our YG17. I'm just gonna trace down the center part of the little plant. And then along the bottom of each leaves. So it kind of just comes out just along the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to go, we're going to trace the inside parts of these leaves and just along the bottom. And we'll do the same thing with these. And then just along the bottom of each of those leaves. Now we're going to take our Y13, YG13, excuse me, and we're just going to fill in those leaves. And then for these ones, again, we're just gonna fill in the entire leaf. take the darker green, the YG67, and I'm just going to add a little bit more shadows here and there just to a, a few parts of the, of the leaves. So I'm going to trace along the top and a little bit along the bottom just so it has more, some more shadows. And then I'm just going to go through a couple of them. It doesn't have to be every single one, but it just, it, it gives it a little bit more definition here and there and makes it a look a little bit more realistic. And then the same thing over here. We want the shadows to be more on the inside parts of the leaves. And then also along the, the bottom. And the same thing over here, just a little bit coming from the bottom of the leaf and a little bit at the bottom and the top and then just give a little bit of definition here and there. 
a little bit of color makes a big difference. Okay, so now we're ready to add some texture to the sand. So I'm gonna take my E31, and you wanna start with the in the darker shadowed areas, and we're just going to dot. And you could see I'm not pushing very hard. And I'm kind of coming up into some of the light, but you want to stay a little bit more into the shadowed areas. So that way it looks shadowed still, but you'll still add a few up at the top. And you'll do the same thing on each layers of each of the different hills. same thing with E30 and this time you can stay a little bit more in the lighter area since it's a lighter color that way it really gives that textured to the sand Now we're going to go ahead and take our E33 and we're going to do the same thing but just in those shadowed areas just to make it have a little bit more definition. to color so we're gonna get out the YG 17 and then fill it in with the YG 13 and then the YG 67 for that little bit of depth. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and color the fish. So we're going to get out the Y21, Y28, Y26, and Y35 because we're going to color this one here gold. So we're going to start with the Y28. And I'm just going to come along the bottom. And then you want to come underneath the fin and on the bottom of this fin and we're just going to make little lines on some of the little creases here in on the edge of the tail just to give it a little bit of a shadow. Now I'm going to take my Y26 and we're just going to bring the color out a little bit more. So on all those areas that we just added the Y28, we're going to start filling in the fish just a little bit more. And then we're going to bring it out a little bit more to outline it. So with each new color that we bring, each new lighter color, we're going to outline the fish even more so that way it still keeps that no line look and it 
keeps all those details in it. We're not just ending up outlining the entire image and it still has all those shadows. All right, so now we're gonna take the Y21 and we're gonna blend out the color that we already have down. And once you get a nice blend on one certain section, so here I'll finish the tail really quick. Well, I've blended all that out. Now I still have that white area. Now I'm just gonna do the one swipe over, filling in the rest of the fish. So we're gonna do the same thing down here. Get your blend first, and then just one swipe to fill it in. So here, I'm gonna blend all that out. And then one swipe to finish filling in the fish. And we'll do the same thing up here. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Y35. And we're just gonna add a little bit of this color in between the darker colors and the Y21, just to give it a little bit more of a gold. And now we're gonna blend it out a little bit more with the Y21. So if you just lay your marker down and do a flick, it should blend nicely into the color that we already have on the, on the, on the fish. Okay, now there's a couple of little bubbles up here that we have lost in our coloring. So I'm gonna go back with my Y26 and we're just, I'm gonna go along the bottom. Of each of those little bubbles. And then we're gonna take the Y21 and we're just gonna fill in the bubble. And since there's already color there, it just kind of brings it out a little bit more. So now we are going to take our Y28 and we're gonna darken up that eye a little bit which is going to be right about here. All right, so we have our first fish done. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this one over here colored. So we're gonna color that one a really pretty blue. So I'm gonna use BG09, BG07, and BG05. We're gonna start with BG07. And I'm gonna start back by the tail. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna outline in those shadowed areas first, underneath the fin, and along the bottom part of the fish. and the bottom part of the tail. And then we're going to use the BG05. We're gonna blend this out. And we're gonna be using BG02 as well.
I'm actually going to be using my BO2, not BGO2, because I cannot find it. So we're going to get that good blend from the color that we already have already on there and then we'll do the one swipe over to fill fill in our fish. And then we're going to go back with our darker color, the BG09, just to define uh, the lines that we can barely see since it's the no line technique. So I'm just going to come underneath the fish and then across the tail on those two little lines and then down on the little fin and then on the top fin. And this little fin. And I'm going to go back with my BO2 just to soften up this line right in here. And then we're going to go ahead and take the BG09. We're going to add his little eye. And then now we're going to do the ocean. Okay, so we're going to be using BG15, BG11, BG40, BG4, B40, B000, and B00. We're going to start with BG40. And I'm just going to trace along the bottom part of the sand, or the top part of the sand, excuse me. So I'm just going to make a couple of little lines in between these little plants. So we're not, got to be very careful not to pull some of that green in. So just kind of lay your marker down on this side. And then bring it all the way out. And the same thing on this side. And the same thing, kind of outline around the fish and then lay the marker down flat and just bring it all the way to the edge of the paper. So I'm going to draw where I want the water to stop. So I'm just going to, I don't want it to be straight, I want it to be kind of wavy. And then just fill it all in. So now we got all the color down. Now we're going to go with our BG11 and we want it to be a little bit darker along the bottom. So we're going to just basically do the exact same thing. This time I'm just going to be a little more streakier. And you want we want it to fade as it gets as it get, starts moving up. So you want to have some gaps in there, so that way when we go back with our next color, it lays in between there and softens it up and blends it out. So now I'm going to take my BG, no, nope, I'm sorry, B000, so it's a little bit lighter than 
or I'm sorry, a little bit darker than the BG four zeros. And we're just gonna lay the color in between. And then again, be kind of streaky as you're moving up. And now I'm gonna take my BG15 and we're gonna go a little bit darker along the bottom. So trace along the sand. And then really streaky right above it. And as you move up a little bit higher, have them be more spread apart. And then we're gonna take our BG11 and we're just gonna blend this out. So just lay the marker down, blending out all that BG15. And once you get to up here where it starts to be streaky, then start being streaky with the BG11. And we'll do the same thing on this side, blend it out all down here along the bottom. And then as you move up, get kind of streaky. And then we're gonna go with our B00 and add some blue down here at the bottom to make it a little bit more bluer, not so green. Coloring the C is always so much fun because you don't, and you don't even necessarily need the colors that I'm using. If you have any other blues or blue greens, you could easily substitute the, the same thing with the fish. If you don't want to use those yellows, you could make a pink fish. There's really no right or wrong color to use. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my B4 zeros. I'm just going to go along the top part just to kind of soften up the really streaky lines and smooth them out a little bit more.
All right, and then if you have any white area around either of the fish, you'll want to go back with like your B triple zero, just so there's no white around either of the little fishies. And now I'm gonna go back with my B, my BG11, and I'm just wanna smooth out some of those darker lines. So I'm not necessarily coloring them in, I'm just going over them and pulling the color through a little bit more from the BG15. Like see right here, it's really dark. So I'm just gonna kind of pull it through and it softens it up just a little bit. Just kind of dragging it along. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and color those bubbles. So we're gonna get out the BG15 and just along the bottom, we're just gonna trace them. So it almost looks like little half moons. And then we're gonna take our B00. Oops. And we're gonna fill them in. So here we have our little fish scene and it's time to get the card together. Here is my finished card using the Gilfriend stamp set. I'm also using the Full of Sunshine stamp and die set and as well as the Sunshine shaker die. I hope you enjoyed this coloring tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.